welcome, uh, Jan and Rebecca, and this is the Poland stage. Let's talk about pollen. Let's talk about the birds and the bees and the flowering trees who have been evolving together for a million centuries. Let's talk about pollen as it relates to food, sex, and in its myriad of geometric complexities. Let's talk about pollen. love and the ones we need, let's talk about the honeybee. Let's talk about honeybees in the hive, the bees who are social and so industrious, the bees who make honey, honey to spare. These bees have a hive made up of one queen plus thousands of workers, female workers, the males don't work, they are called drones, and yes, it is work that they skirt shirt. Their presence, however, cannot be downplayed. Their presence is vital. Please don't be swayed. A hive is its seen, a super organism being, all is one and one for all. Let's talk about food. An egg is laid by the queen, well, 2,000 to be exact, a day that is, we know for a fact. In the comb, the honeycomb, the baby grows with royal jelly as with the queen and grows and grows to four days old, it's really quite a scene. At four days old, a bit like gold, the bees are fed, all happily fed, on the food that is their favorite, their very favorite, tell me what is said, it is called the bee bread. Here we talk about pollen. Four wings per, per bee taking flight, they visit hundreds of flowers before the night, gathering up their nectar and pollen nice and tight, Nectar, carbohydrate-rich nectar, regurgitated and stored, evaporated and fermented, then lovingly adored. Pollen, protein-rich pollen, chewed and tasted, full of minerals, nothing wasted. Mix these two and you will find the bread without the butter, the bread they eat instead, bee bread. Let's talk about pollen.
talk about sex. Let's talk about flowers and how they can't move. So sex is creative because sex needs the bees and butterflies and birds and bats, if you please. Bees with hairy bodies flying through the air. Girl bees with hairy bodies landing not to scare. Settling on flowers to walk, climb, and pull. Rubbing through stamens and pistils and petals. This thing touching that thing and that touching this. Ending with legfuls, certainly not handfuls. Also to suck, pluck, and lick to get to that sweetness, that sweetness reward. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about strength and shining, the best of the best, as the drones do fly high, high in the sky, competing amongst the rest to reach the young queen, the queen of the bees. Let's talk about sex. When in flight, the fright of his life, his privates are ripped and torn, and falling, falling, the drone lands dead, dead but reborn. Offspring a consolation, continuation a consolation, still dead but reborn. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about the queen who mates a few days, three days of her life, but mates with so many mates, we'd have such a fright. Where the eggs that she lays would blow your mind because the eggs she lays are in the hundreds of thousands, even thousands of thousands. She's so streamlined. Amazing. Let's talk about pollen. How the bees are so smart, so smart to figure out that the strongest and most efficient of all the shapes, the shapes in the world, the bees have figured out the hexagon is a bomb. The hexagon with six equal angles, made out of wax, made out of nectar, made by the bees as if by angels. A place for storage, a place for growth. You have my oath, this place is great for both. The bee and the honey, the honey and the pollen. Let's talk about geometry about how they dance, the bees do dance. They dance in circles and patterns eight. They dance and waggle and share the news. What news, you ask? Well, here I'll tell the news of flower and smell and smell. Let's talk about geometry. 
about how pollen is the male part of the seed, the part of the seed that produces sperm cells, sperm cells to create, to create the tulips, and let's not us forget to create the bluebells. Small, beautiful, and so very sexy, square, squat, squat round, and oval. They're smooth, blunt, velvety, and silky, and that's not even the grand total. Let's talk about pollen. The perfect centerpiece of architecture and geometry, of procreation and history, a downright masterpiece. Let's talk about planting flowers, planting 